Well, it's uh, Friday morning about 9.30. I'm headed to Williamsburg, Virginia. It's historic Williamsburg. I do the knives for uh, four salad work stores around this area. And they just opened up a new one in Williamsburg a month ago. So I come up here every three months. I mean, every three weeks and exchange their knives at. I got a guy that's going to meet me there with a broken Ken Onion Shun that I'm going to bring back and get my buddy to put handles on it. And a lady that lives in Williamsburg says she wants me to sharpen her knives. So sounds like I'll be sharpening some knives at her home somewhere in Williamsburg, which is, she says it's 10 minutes from the salad work. So I don't know. We'll see. Stand by. We'll see what it looks like. Williamsburg. Nice. Cranezilla. They're building a new tunnel from Hampton to Norfolk. That's a lot of cranes in it. There's some water on that side. <laughs> Good googa mooga. I picked up the culinary school knives. Got 35 pair of knives and 38 chef's knives. And my best knife customer ever texted me and said, I'm dropping some knives off in your box today. Stand by. Well, we're at the city marina getting ready to go fishing with a buddy of mine on the Lenavy River. Get some puppy drum or Maybe it's some flounders before the farmer's market today. Got a farmer's, farmer's market at 4. It's like 8.15 now. We're going to fish for a couple hours. My daughter's in town from Colorado. Stand by. They didn't do Can't well together. together. They didn't. Oh. <laughs> well, makes perfect sense. The Narrows. So, the only place I found it with non-ethanol was Knott's Island. So, for... I know 15 years, 18 years, I would go to Knott's Island and fill up the jugs and bring them back. Durango. We saw so many ecosystems, you know, oh, desert, yeah. from desert. Fishing right next to this big old desert, boat. It's the first stop. From desert to, to... Red Rock? Yeah, and just, then next thing you know, we're in that Animus Valley, the Animus River, and it's lush. It fields of alfalfa and cattle farms. And Look at a little whaler in there, how that's it? Yep, that's a 13. There he is. Oh. It'll come untangled a whole lot easier. Yeah. Hey, let me know if I'm gonna hit anything. Yeah, you're good, man. I got you. One minute gone, one drum in the box. That's it. There you go, that's good. Well, okay. we're moving. We're changing locations. Yes, yeah, so I've run around. We have one one pull off and, and then the one I caught. We're going up the river up for a bit further. We're moving again. The bite is off. That's the way the bite is sometimes. You're trying to catch something with fins and you know they ain't gonna stay in the same place very long. But we hope they do. Southbound. That's a Long Creek Bridge in front of us. Some kayakers coming, you see them? You, you probably can't see them with his GoPro camera. I'll get a picture of them when they get closer. They're paddling this way with the tide. Lady paddlers. They're going in, maybe they live down that little creek, I guess. They hit it in that way. The guy just came out of that creek. He's going to look for some pullage himself. Please let Rod work for me. Take your time. Yeah, let him go. Please, Rod work. Now, if you have to go around the bow, we're going to have to dance. I'm good. I'm good. It's coming right. Uh, can't answer the phone, there. got footage. Footage. This is what they call Lynn Haven Inlet. 
I mean, uh, Lynn Haven Colony. Yeah, I got one tonight. All ladies. Got little canals all behind these other canals, another canal behind that canal. Every year in Everybody's June. got a boat. And Last well, not everybody, but minutes. most everybody. And this is just on the main side of the river. One single road runs down and then it branches off the houses all along the edge of it. And that house right there is a music producer, I think, owns that big house right in front of us. My body says this big house is Parnell Williams' house. It's a singer, producer. I knew somebody owned it, but I couldn't remember who it was. I could have bought that house in 1973 or four for $155,000. I didn't do it, it was out of my budget in those days. It's been added on to somewhat, but I could have bought a lot in the house that was on it. Way back when I was a youngster. Well, we're here by the bridge, but so far, we haven't caught anything. Some flies are biting my feet. And old black flies. Taquitos. If you went back some years in some of my detective videos, you see me, we used to hunt here a lot. This beach used to be like 200 feet wide. That building right there, that gazebo blue roof thing was way out in the sand, dry sand. You see how much has changed since this new bridge was in. It's amazing. It's bottom, huh? It's bottom, I can see the middle. I know, man, I see the ripples. It's all the bottom. Yeah. Let's see if I can find that video or one of them and put a link to it. We're making a new, another change in location. Those orange boats right there, they're the Virginia Pilot boats. Carry the pilots to the ships that bring them in the harbor and when they leave. Be able to see it clear as it is. Using this one for a few minutes, tough. No, I'm gonna no. get that one. It's already rigged, but I'm gonna pull. Let me have it. I'm gonna fix it. Try that one. It's a little okay. 
long. But let me get let me get closer to where we're going. Yeah. That was a mistake. Don't remember that. As you can see it's nothing but sand here, so whatever that is, it's old. I did for a while there on Thursdays. I was doing Throwback Thursday and I would do history. And I did the uh, story and a picture of the trolley going across when this bridge was low. Ah. And the trolley went from Little Creek to the ocean front and down the boulevard. It was a big loop. And all these people would say, Oh, we don't want light rail. I said, Well, we had it before. <laughs> in the 40s. See? Get That's back to it. Behind, yeah. <laughs> yep. All them gray hairs at Burnett Point, they don't want to bring that north of the elephant. baby osprey sitting on his nest. He'll be squawking in a minute when we get closer to it. Get ready. And they have a screechy sound boy. <laughs> Got a release, flapjack, sure. aka flounder. At least we didn't get skunk on the farm. Mama Osprey, she flew out of her nest, but there she is, right there. Now you turkeys better get out of here. Arr. That's right. Talk to us, baby. I knew it was down there. Uh huh. I hear you. Keep on chirping. Oh, it's coming in at first. Look at you! Look at you! <laughs> Holy shit. That More pullage. Oh, Jesus. Oh, when he goes through the net. There is a hole in my net. All right, that's fine. Huh, huh, huh. hole in it. You gotta get a whistle for that. You got him, Heather? Yep. We got Mama Osprey and oh, we got oh. a flounder. Yeah, you can swing him in, yeah. I guess. Live and living color. Hey, at least we got one. Yeehoo! Here she comes back. She's mad now. Look at her. <laughs> you got him, Heather? Yep. Wow. yep. yep. It's a we got Mama Osprey and we got a flounder. Yeah, you can swing him in, yeah. I guess. Live and living color. Hey, at least we got one. Yee-hoo! Here she comes back. She's mad now, look at
Oh, here are the Williamsburg knives. Three, three steaks, two chefs, and a pair of scissors. Marks. Well, I just picked up the culinary school knives. I couldn't remember how many it was from last year, but I don't know why I didn't remember it, but they would lost two. I got uh, 38 10 inch chef's knives and 35 uh, paring knives. That'll keep me pretty busy for a while. Head Northwest on Jeffrey. Here they are, 35 paring knives, 38 10 inch Acero Chef's Knives. A gathering of blades. A Klondike. Stand by. Well, it's uh, 4 o'clock. If I didn't need more knives, <laughs> it sounds like I'm going to get some more. I'm, I'm dropping off these restaurant knives right now. And in about 10 minutes from where I am, a guy called me and says, uh, Max, can you come by? I got some knives for you. <laughs> I don't know what that means. And when I got home from Williamsburg, uh, my best knife customer, knives did not show up in the box that's the first time anyway stand by oh boy here they are two hatchets edge trimmer loafer some hankles some wood stalls spotico and two of these restaurant knives <laughs> okay Well, we're all set up. Streets closed. Tables up. Tents up. Everybody's ready. Everybody's on time today. We got a, I got my first customer of the day with an automatic out the front. Stand by. Saturday morning. This place is wide open today. I mean, elbow to elbow. Everybody's in line waiting. Crazy. And a fair amount of knives. Well, we just got home from the market. 
and the best knife customer ever said the knives are in your box you've seen these many 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 times you've seen that bag many times oh i see a news ticket sticking out of that look at that gladiator series hey, stand by well here they are the best knife customer in the world this is a new one a big fancy 12 inch Dow strong slicer you've seen these shadows before you've seen that carbon steel you've seen all these before but not that ticket right there that's a new ticket and it's relatively sharp i'm just going to hold it up a little bit it don't need much work <laughs> 